In April 2011, ground was broken on the University of Dayton campus for the GE Aviation Electrical Power Integrated System Center. I got to tell you, it's not every day that a uh, Fortune 10 company decides to build a $51 million research center on a, on a university campus. The benefits are unbelievably broad and deep to both organizations. Next generation aircraft will do more with electric power than ever before. GE Aviation's new Research and Development Center is designed to model and simulate new designs under various conditions before building the hardware. The facility can then accommodate a full-scale test of a complete electrical system. You really have to have the laboratory capability in engineering to be able to put those products together, interconnect them as if they were in an airplane, and operate them. The other part of it is we, we hope to have multiple programs here, and we set it up so that we could do you know, a couple of very large civil and a couple of very large military programs along with our normal work. We have an opportunity here to work with both the professors and the students to innovate and come up with new ways of looking at things for us. Frequently, you know, we all work on projects, we tend to want to design things the same way we did the last time. We tend to want to use materials that we're familiar with because there's less risk. If you have a, a research community that has tried things that we're not aware of, that can help lower our risk and bring new ideas into the business. So, yes, it's certainly, you know, helping us get work done and uh, being productive on a project with analysis or design. But it's also about bringing new ideas and, and new ways of thinking about how airplanes fly or how we make power in airplanes or distribute that power. So the relationship is great. It keeps our engineers on a state-of-the-art uh, frontier in electric power. Uh, research and it helps GE supplement their already great research team uh, here in Dayton, Ohio. The thing I like about it is not only will it result in funding for UD, but the new products that are going to come out of that out of that research will enable people uh, at GE to create uh, new business lines, hire new folks in Vandalia to make the products, so there's an economic outcome associated with that research. The University of Dayton Research Institute agreement also says that on a reciprocal nature, UD will work hard in the engineering side to tailor some of their curriculums to better support us. The School of Engineering has decided to actually add courses in their curriculum that address directly electric power engineering. Now you have a situation where the students that will go to work at GE not only have the classroom exposure, but they've had a chance to work in the actual lab, and that's a powerful combination. I don't believe any other university in the United States has that kind of ability to graduate an engineer with both exposures to real-world experience and classes in electric power. So the relationship that's been developed between GE, Electric Power Systems, and the University of Dayton is an, is an incredibly powerful relationship. And it's not just at one level of our organizations. It's technician to technician, researcher to researcher, manager to manager. At the University of Dayton, we intend to embrace this, engage it, and cultivate it. We want people to see that if you do an industry university relationship in the right way, that the benefits to Dayton, to Ohio, and even to the nation are incredible. And that's what we intend to do.